Hello. Uh, so, I was sitting here, it's Sunday, it's quite humid, even though it's very cloudy. Um, but I was thinking, I really want to make a video. Um, so I'm making one. Um, this video is going to be the books I am dying, like literally dying to read. And if I don't read them, I don't know what's going to happen, but it won't be a good story. You know, there may not be any books, no best or Lee left, okay? So basically, these are either the books I'm dying to read, or uh, the books I really, 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 really should read. Uh, and let me tell you, there are a lot of books. Like, I mean a lot. Let me just show you how many books there are. Okay, so this is the bottom of the pile. And those are all of the books, literally almost up to my ceiling. Hello again. So like I said, there are a lot of books. Um, so you may want to grab a cup of tea or whatever. I have my coffee here. Lovely coffee. You probably can't see it because there's not much left. It's really good. I make really good coffee and tea, actually. Yeah, so there are a lot here. Like I said, some of them are ones that I really, really, really want to read. Some of them I really should read. And some I want to reread, some I've started but really need to read. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I don't know if I've done a video like this before, I don't think I have. I think I've done like an unfinished series video or something like that. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to start and I'll explain as I go along about each book. So the first book is, see how far I'm reaching. The first book is Red Hill by Jamie Maguire. This is the same... A uh, person that wrote Beautiful Disaster, Walking Disaster, and the new one, Beautiful Oblivion, I think it's called. Uh, but this is, um, this is Jamie's kind of first foray into apocalyptic novels. It's about um, a girl called Scarlet, and it follows it follows a family, and Scarlet's the mother, and um, the end of the world begins to happen. Um, and that's why I really want to read it because. A, the cover is fantastic. I think this cover is amazing. And I know there's a sequel coming out soon. Um, <clears throat> I think this one's being made into a movie. Um, and also, the sentence at the top, on the back of the book, just drew me in. It says, I know the world ended on a Friday. It was the last day I saw my children. So to me, that just sounds epic. And I really want to read it. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is this, which I brought recently. This is Robopocalypse by Daniel H. Wilson. And this is a book set in the future where uh, a robotic technology has begun to fail and it's starting to destroy and take over the world. And these people um, need to go in and save the world. And it sounds epic and the cover's amazing. Um, and the sequel, Robogenesis, is out now. And also, I love sci-fi, so I don't know why I haven't picked this up. I've read a lot of sci-fi books. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do another video, not now, maybe in a few months, maybe towards Christmas. I'm going to do a video where I show all my sci-fi books because I have a lot. I have some classic sci-fi, I have some new sci-fi, I have some kids sci-fi. But anyway, yes, I really want to read this, that robotic technology that starts taking over. Can I do that? No, it's a full face. I can't do it with a full face. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, anyway, next book I really want to read is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. The reason I want to read this is because I've heard so much hype about it, and now the hype's died down, I want to read it. Um, I know it's about a kid who kind of goes into... He kind of goes into a video game um, to kind of win this ultimate prize. Um, and I know there's a lot of references to 80s and stuff like that. Um, one of the reasons I haven't started is because if you look at the text, it is so small. That that text is really small. Um, but I've heard it's a really good book, and the ratings on Goodreads are really good. Um, and it is 372 pages, so it is quite a large one. But yes, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, and I like the spine as well, that's nice. But I know a lot of people... Uh, it's especially from looking on Goodreads, a lot of people are saying they really want to see this made into a movie. 
And I always think if a book is good enough to be adapted into a movie, then it's a good book. So, yeah, I want to read this one. Uh, the next book is Boy Nobody by Alan Zadoff. The uh, reason I want to read this is because, A, the cover is freaking... Actually, I'm going to swear, okay? I'm going to swear. The cover is fucking amazing. Look. That is so cool. And the pages are orange. Uh, but the reason I want to read this is because it's supposed to be a bit like Alex Ryder. Um, you know, um, Stormbreaker, Point Blank. Um, it's also supposed to be like a young James Bond with a lot more mystery. And it's set in a school. So that sounds cool. So I really want to read this. And I know there's a sequel coming out soon. Which has green pages, I believe. I believe it's called... I believe it's called Target Girl or something. But anyway, I really want to read this. Uh, next book I really want to read is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I've heard this is epic. This is like... It says, Welcome to Cold Town. Once you enter, you can never leave. I believe this is like a game show that people go on. Um, and it involves zombies and people who die. And stuff like that. But I really want to read this. Because it sounds epic, and I've heard that this might be made into a movie too. So that is cool. And the reason this has crept up on this pile again is because I recently watched No Regrets for Life's chocolate book tag, which you can go and check out. I tagged her a little while ago, and she's done the tag. Um, yeah, and she mentioned that this is one of the books she really wants to read. She's dying to get her hands on it. Um, so yeah, I really want to read this as well. She has piqued my interest again. The next book I have is one that was recommended to me and has been recommended to me many, many, many times. I'm so sorry I haven't read it, Erin. But Erin from Wrath's Queen has told me I need to read Acid because it is one of her favourite books ever. Um, and it's the cover is, first of all, the cover is absolutely, I'm going to swear again, I'm going to swear again. It's absolutely fucking amazing. Again. Look at it. Ay, it's so cool. And the back is so nice. Uh, yeah, and this says, Acid, the most brutal for police force in history. They rule with an iron fist. They see everything. They know everything. They locked me away for life. My crime? They say I murdered my parents. I was 15 years old. My name is Jenna Strong. So, yeah, it's about a girl. I think she escapes a maximum security prison. Um, and sh I think she's being hunted by this police force called Acid. Um... And I think sh I think when they like track her down, she starts killing them and stuff like that. But I've heard it's amazing, mainly from Erin from Rats Queen. And sorry if I'm touching my face and wiping myself so much. It's really hot in the UK. Seriously, where I am now, it's like 22 degrees. And I'm sweating a bit. But anyway, uh, yeah. But Erin told me I really need to read this. It's one of her favourite books ever. Um, and it looks incredible. So I really do want to read it. And now we move on to quite a few hardbacks. Uh, the first one I really want to read is Landry Park by Bethany Hagen. This hasn't got fantastic reviews on Goodreads or ratings. I think the highest rating is about three and a half stars. Um, but this is billed as um, Downton Abbey meets The Selection by Kira Cass. I love Downton Abbey. I think it's one of the best British TV shows ever made. Like, ever. Like, actually ever. I just want to put that out there. I absolutely love Downton Abbey. It's amazing. Um, look at this cover. This is so Downton Abbey. If you see where it says park and it has the girl, you can see it, just looks, it looks like Downton Abbey. But yeah, this book is supposed to be really good and it's not that long. I got it ages ago. I don't know if you remember my haul where I unboxed it, but I got it so long ago. It's unbelievable. And the text is actually quite large, so that shouldn't really take me that long to read. I think it's just under 350. No, okay. It's 374, 374 pages. But yeah, I still really want to read it. And it looks incredible. And it looks beautiful on my shelf as well. <clears throat> okay, next book I really want to read. Or, in fact, this is one that I should read. Um, I don't know, you'll know if you've watched my videos for a while. But I work with people with... Um, learning difficulties and mental health issues um, and complex support needs um, and I'm really interested in that aspect of life and um, mental health and stuff 
Um, and I like to read books about that. Um, so I really want to read The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. This is the lovely American hardcover edition. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, but I've heard this is absolutely amazing. I think it's written from the perspective uh, of a boy with learning difficulties and his dad, his brother dies, but he still talks to his brother after he's died. But yeah, I've heard this is incredible and I've been recommended to read it a few times, um, especially by Erin from Rasqueen again. And I love the spine on this, it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong about my description, but that's what I believe it's about. Um, yeah, and it sounds amazing. So that's that one. Okay, the next book I really want to read is The Bees by Laileen Paul. Um, I first saw this on Celtic Bibliophile's channel, and she's amazing. She's Scottish, um, and she's just fantastic. Um, oh, crap. Just whacked my glasses with the book. But anyway, yeah, um, I really want to read this. I started reading it, and it was pretty good. I got to chapter 4, page 19. See, there's just like a little bit of a leaflet or something in there. But I was really enjoying it. It's about a a bee called Flora. Um, and yeah, it's a story told through the perspective of a bee um, in a beehive and the hierarchy and the brutal killing and all that kind of stuff. And it was it's really good so far. And I stopped it to pick up something else, but I really want to get back to it because I was loving it. And the other cool thing is when you take off the dust jacket, the hexagon is cut out of the front. And then this is the design on the actual jacket. There's loads of bees. And I thought that was really nice. 